Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Death Store Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and we're fighting the Grey Crow. Try that again. At least I don't remember them. Oh, this is a bad start. This is a real bad start. This is a super bad start. You know what? Just, just, nope. Let's try that again.
got right on the edge of his foot there. Yep. Alright. We'll keep going. try
rolled. I definitely rolled there. No, just... I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad at that attempt. gonna take a bit. Oh, that was, that was nice. That wasn't so nice. <laughs> Yeah. 
think it was so close, too. Uh, choice there. Ah, finally learned it. Oh man. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, anything. You never appreciate something till it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of that in my job. 
But until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I never thought it'd apply to me. I'm sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? It won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Thank you. Actually, do you say anything else? Alright. Until the job is done. Okay. see, there is one thing I want to do. And that is to go back to the stranded sailor. Because I think Barb will have a song for me. I hope. Alrighty. Again, beak face. How goes your adventure? I like to stop. Yep. All right. Odd fellow, but great chef. Hi, Barb. We'll talk to you in a second. Did you hick, save my buddy? Hick. Hey there, matey. Thanks again for the adventure. I've never seen anything like it before. And I got enough material to make what I think could be my magnum opus. Want to hear it? Yes. All right, here we go. <coughs> the drunk crow did love a last name Betty. But it turned out she was a big hairy yeti. The hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. But Betty the Yeti got sliced into spaghetti. And now we'll never see that wedding confetti. Yay! Thanks, Barb. For that beautiful song. My fellow crows, we have arrived at a moment foretold long ago. Today, Death's Door has been opened, and Death themselves has been freed once more into the world. Fear not, for this is not the end of days, but the beginning of a bright new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years, and we crows played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs. We must accept our fates. We must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope. It is time for the Lord of Doors' reign to end and for us to return to a natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these forest spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin and the world will teem with new life. 
For that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordained. The crow that free death will have to end the Lord of Doors reign. Oh. Is that me? Oops. Hi, Baga. I have no doubt you will be complete your task, old friend. Have faith in yourself. Welcome to the Soul Bowl. Um, I don't think I... Yeah. I know it seems the world is ending, but I really hope I can find a new job after all this. I honestly just love typing. The feel of the keys on my feathers. The clicking and the clacking as I push them down. Look at me getting carried away. Go on, you best finish clearing this mess up. I have a resume to write. Badger. Ha, so I guess we're all gonna be out of our jobs soon. Finally, I can be free of the rat race. I never wanted to be a reaper, you know? It was just a matter of necessity. I wonder what I could do next. I guess the endless possibilities lie ahead. Of course, it all depends on you finishing your job without getting killed in the process. But I reckon you'll get it done, kid. Ball part. All this death and rebirth is a daunting prospect. But I think everyone here is sick of what this world has become. A new world. A new start. I wonder if there will be new TV shows, too. I feel like my whole world is crumbling beneath my feet, but somehow I also feel hopeful for the first time in... Actually, I think this is the first time I've, I've felt hope. Maybe I... Maybe I won't have to work so hard anymore. Anything else? Actually, I should check with everyone. I have no doubt you will complete your task, old friend. Have faith in yourself. All right, maybe not. Okay. Yep, thank you. over here where we have the door of interest but we shall get to that next time I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode and in the meantime in between time take care have fun and happy trails